Hi there, this is Rick again. Um, here's a nice simple script that will allow you to sit in any chair from Cup and from the Vanilla Armour 3. Uh, relatively simple and it's tested on all these different chairs. Um, obviously if you're running a, a big briefing and you want to start off with all the players sitting in a a hall, much like I did with uh, Zero Dark Thirty, where you have a whole lot of AI players sitting in chairs as well as human players. So I'll just quickly run it to show you, and then uh, I'll show you the script. The script is relatively short, so it's quite easy to implement. It doesn't require any um, significant setup or anything. So I'll go into third person. Sit down. Stand up. Don't worry about the police car. Um, that's a, another video I'm going to make on how to make a police car and uh, how to have the sirens work and how to have the lights work and all that stuff. Some of these chairs are a little bit small so they kind of look a bit stupid. Anyway, so I think by now you'll notice that it kind of works on all the chairs. Um, some chairs are a little bit strange, particularly the plastic chair. The orientation of the plastic chair is 90 degrees left, in other words, pointing west. So if you set 180 because you obviously want to face the same direction as the chair, you end up sort of sitting side onto it. So in the script, there's a, there's a special um, option uh, that look, actually searches for that. Uh, specific chair and if so it just changes the orientation anyway so here's a little script um, to run the script you put an add action on the chair and basically the way the script works as follows it um, this select zero pulls the the chair that um, the add action was added to so this will find out which chair it is it will uh, then find out who called the add action, and that will be the select one. Chair direction, so it gets the direction of the chair and switches it to 180, 180 degrees from the direction the chair is pointing. The, um, and then it gets the position of the chair. Player is placed in the position of the chair. And then it says if the uh, type of chair is this particular one here, which is the plastic chair, then you need to change the orientation to 90 degrees offset. It basically disables the player's collision with the chair and the chair's collision of the player. And then it switch moves the player into the chair using remote exec. Um, it has to do this because switch move is a local uh, command. So players on a network uh, in a network game wouldn't see you switch into this position. All they do is see you standing through the chair. So that didn't really look too good. And then the zero basically means uh, to do it for everyone. And it's not JIP, Joy in Progress. Then it removes all the actions off the chair, sleeps for half a second, and then adds an action to the player that's sitting in the chair uh, with an option to stand up. And, and if he runs the add action, it'll just run a little script called standup.sqf. Stand up SQF says uh, who called the who was the ad action attached to it was the player um, and it removes all the actions from the player sleeps for half a second then it switch moves a blank switch move which means it cancels the previous switch move um, it then sets the position of the player a half a meter in front of the chair and um, in the same Y and X as Z coordinates. So it just moves him out of, makes him stand up, resets his animation, and moves him half a meter in front of the chair. And so that's really simple and uh, 
just simply put this script this little line into the init field on any of the chairs uh, let me just get back to Eden so let's take this chair here you just simply dump that little script you don't have to worry about the stand-up script because this script calls the other one and uh, you can just run it on any chair as I said and that's how it works so I hope that's of use to you I'll put these scripts into the Dropbox link so that you can download them and use them if you have ways of improving them um, please let me know and thanks for watching and subscribe it'll help me uh, make more videos like this if you found this useful okay thanks for watching cheers